Hi all, uh, I just wanted to record a quick screencast um, to talk to you about modals or modals, however you want to pronounce them. Uh, currently in Beaver Builder we can add a modal to a button um, or light box it's called um, by default and uh, we can add a video or we can add HTML content and actually let me show you uh, the options for that at the moment you'll see um, we can write some HTML so if I do hello viewers I'm not actually typing anything hello viewers Uh, that's one option or we could add a, uh, a video uh, I haven't got one to hand you'll just have to take my word for it we can just paste the URL in there and when the buttons clicked it will open the video and I think for users who aren't developers um, I mean HTML isn't isn't so complex but it is quite a limiting um, feature in my opinion I feel that uh, you should be able to offer more in a modal I think they're quite a useful feature on a website um, they're great for lead gen uh, lead generation forms you can click on a on a button and get a a modal with a opt-in form or a inquiry form straight away without having uh, another page reload they're also good for maps they're of course good for videos and yeah I, th I think that the default options at the moment um, could be better uh, so what I've tried to do is uh, look to extend this a bit um, it's very easy to uh, create a new module it's um, it's it's not a, a particularly complex task but what what I wanted to do is try and extend the native beaver builder button module and uh, see if I could get a, a, a custom modal uh, to open from there and you, you might have seen in the in the last few days I've published a couple of articles on how to add animations uh, to your uh, modules and uh, I've also posted one recently on how to add CSS classes to your modules so you can style them a bit better and actually what what I've done since with the with the modals is take it one step further and um, actually bring in content from a another another page and I think this uh, this sort of adds another dimension to what's possible with Beaver Builder. I think what they've what they've um, produced and the modules that they've they've produced, the Beaver Builder guys uh, and girls, is phenomenal. But I see Beaver Builder in a different light. I, I think it's an absolutely fantastic um, development platform to build upon, and I, I think something like this adding a, a a modal from uh, another page uh, without actually having to create a new module just uh, is testament to that so let me um, show you what I've done it's not fully polished yet and it might look very ugly uh, in this video but um, I think it should give you an idea of what should hopefully be possible so um, we'll come back to this page this is this is just a blog post um, and there's nothing much going on so I've, I've got another tab open um, and this is um, this is a modal this this is a it's a custom post type and um, I've enabled the beaver builder page builder for it uh, and this this site um, WP developers is using the beaver builder theme currently and they've got a template which um, 
removes the header, removes the footer, removes the sidebar. So this is a blank canvas. So let me add some stuff to it. We'll start with um, we'll start with a logo, just a regular photo module. Um, move that one. That'll do, and maybe if I close Slack for a start. Uh, we could add a video, but I perhaps won't. Let's add a map. Okay, that's a static map. What else can we add? Um, this isn't your most conventional modal. Let's add a calendar. Spelled incorrectly, but who cares? Now, please use your imagination. This could be uh, this could be a video on the left. It could be a checklist on the left. It could be a form on the right. Uh, it could be any sort of lead generation form or um, layout. Uh, it could be a map. Maybe you will use a map. This could be an actual use case, but perhaps not a default WordPress uh, calendar widget. But you'll get the idea, I hope. So let's just publish that. And we'll just switch back to um, the blog post that we were on before. And just to show you that it is a default Beaver Builder button module that I'm dealing with. This isn't a custom thing that I've written. You'll see that there are custom modules here and they're under WPD modules. Um, this is not that. This is an extension of the default Beaver Builder button. So let's just drag that in. And for the eagle-eyed viewers amongst you, you've probably seen before that there's a modal uh, option here. So let's just uh, click on that. And uh, what do I call the example modal here? That's the name of the uh, of the modal that we've just created. Um, let's save that and and publish this page. Okay, so. There we go. If we click on that, we can see that we've got the logo, we've got the map, and we've got the calendar, which is exactly what we've got here. Um, and we can add any any sort of styling. So you'll notice there's no background color at the moment. Um, we could add this. I'm going to do this to you. Sorry. <laughs> uh, let's publish that lovely background color here. Now, at the moment, as I said before, there's a few things that perhaps need to be polished. There's, um, uh, when you first load the page, it will add the content of the, uh, the modal onto the page that you're on. Um, and I might improve that in the future to use Ajax. So it only loads once you click on the button. But anyway, just, just for the purpose of this example, we, we can now see the, the lovely pink that I added before. Um, there's one other bug that I've found so far, and that is um, with videos. If you embed a video um, and close the modal, uh, it it carries on and plays uh, even after you've closed it. So I've I've got an idea of how to fix that. So that's not a problem. Um, but I'd really appreciate your thoughts um, because it's all very well me coming up with ideas um, it's it's much easier if you give me feedback uh, and David uh, if you're listening David Walmsley uh, <laughs> the ideas man um, uh, and anyone else who's, who's got some thoughts on this that would be really really appreciated just pop uh, pop them in the in the comments below um, I also put a link to my blog you can, you can get hold of me on there and just let me know what you'd use this for. Um, and I'll see, I'll, I'll, I'll try and test as many use cases as I can. And um, 
then I'll try and include this in the uh, WPD Beaver Builder Editions plugin that I've got um, so that you can use this yourself. Uh, I think it's it's probably 70-75% of the way there. It just needs uh, needs your feedback and a couple of things tidying up for me. So um, let me know your thoughts. Thank you.